Welcome to VW 6.6. .6. This is the last part of this unit, so let's start. We're going to analyze this graph, and notice how I put the steps here. Again, when you get to the test, you're going to have to remember these steps. So let's start by making a little info box here. So for domain, I can take a look at that. Most of you should be able to do that in your head. I can see it's everything except for plus or minus two. Now, once you have domain, this is when you want to simplify. So again, after this, we're going to simplify. So if I look at this function, I can see the top is factorable. That's 2x minus 1 times x minus 2. And the bottom is definitely factorable. That's going to be x plus 2, x minus 2. Notice how the x minus 2s cancel. And now we have a simpler function, 2x minus 1 over x plus 2. And I'm going to put a box over that. And you can call this your simplified function. Once you have domain, you want to use your simplified function for everything else. So for x-intercept, I'm going to look at the simplified version. If I look at this, I can see that, look at the top, that should be 1 half. And the y-intercept, that's going to be negative 1 half. My vertical asymptote, that's x equals negative 2. And my horizontal asymptote is y equals 2. Let's check if it crosses. So I wonder, will it cross HA? And again, you want to grab your simplified function. Set that equal to the HA value, which is 2. And we're going to solve it to see what happens. Okay, we can see negative 1 does not equal 4, therefore there's no cross. So I'll make a note here, there's no cross. And now we get to talk about what happens right here. When we cancel this piece right here with this piece, what actually happens? And the answer to that question is this, it creates a hole. And what's interesting is it creates a hole at that particular x value that you're crossing out. So for example, in our box, we're going to put there's a hole, and the x value is 2. And notice how that lines up with our domain, x can't be 2. So that's why the hole is going to be where 2 is, where this thing gets crossed out. Now to figure out the y portion, all you do is you plug in 2 to your simplified function right there. So I'll write it out, y equals, plug in 2, that's going to be 4 minus 1 over 2 plus 2, and that's going to be 3 over 4. So that's the location of the hole, and I'll show you exactly what that looks like on the graph. So to start this graph, let's put our asymptotes down. We have x equals negative 2, that's right here. We have y equals positive 2 right here. And then we have an x-intercept of 1 half. So I'll mark that right here. That's 1 half comma 0. And I have a y-intercept of negative 1 half. So I'll put 0 comma negative 1 half. And we have a hole at 2 comma 3 over 4. So we'll put that right there about. And that's 2 three fourths. From there I can connect everything. I'll approach my vertical asymptote. I can see I don't cross my horizontal, so I'm just going to connect to the hole and then approach my horizontal. And now all I got to do is figure out what's happening on this side. So all we're going to do is plug in a point, let's say negative three. Plug in negative three right there, and that's going to be negative 7 over negative 1, or we'll just call that positive 7. So negative 3, 7. 
and then let's go to our asymptotes and we are done. We'll do one more example. This example says to construct a rational function with a VA x equals 5, x intercept negative 6, horizontal y equals 0, and the whole at x equals 3. So first thing you want to do is define the function. Don't forget to put y equals. We'll definitely need a fraction. And I'm going to start here. The VA is x equals 5 because that would tell me the bottom part has to have a x minus 5 here. Now it says the x-intercept is negative 6. Now that's interesting because that tells me on the top that, that should have an x plus 6. So note how the vertical asymptote is telling information about the bottom, and the x-intercept is telling information on the top. Now it says there's a horizontal asymptote y equals 0, and a hole at x equals 3. So what we just learned is the only way to create a hole is to have something cancel out. So that would mean there must be an x minus 3 on the top and the bottom. So right here, that would create a hole. And the only piece I haven't figured out quite yet is this. The ha is y equals 0. So think about how that would happen. In order for that to happen, that would mean on your function, the degree on the top and bottom, think about what has to happen. That would mean this degree at the bottom has to be larger than the top. So if I look at my function here, the degree at the top is 2, and this is 2, which means 0 is not going to happen. So some people want to do this and put a x at the bottom, because that would create your ha at y equals 0. But you don't want to do that because it doesn't say there's a VA at 0. This would create an excessive vertical asymptote. So the easiest way to increase the degree is to put a 2 right there. And now everything is satisfied. There's a VA x equals 5, x int at negative 6, ha y equals 0, and the whole because this would cross out. And there is our completed function.